what can you say about how the ISCO campaign is going, is running? Because he seems to be okay. in a tough spot. You know, he seems to be in a tough spot. He's not quite opposition. He's not quite administration. Um, uh, from what, from the way we see it, um, the Lenny campaign is trying to uh, win over his supporters. Uh, there's also part of uh, support from for Isko na medyo, medyo Duterte ang, uh, ang base ng support din ni Isko. So what can you say? Parang nasa gitna siya eh ng mga nag-uumpugang ano, bato. Actually po sir, siguro ang masasabi ko dyan, um, number one, if there's someone who could really present a fresh voice or present a new narrative, it could be Isko, right? Because everyone is... Okay, I'll tell you something, guys, no? um, which may or may not be connected to Isko. Overseas, you're seeing this billionaire race, right? For the moon. Mm -hmm. In other mm -hmm. words, if we are willing to lap up a narrative, na ang, the leader that we want and the leader that we need is someone who can bring us to the moon, no? this literal moonshot. Ibig sabihin, ang narrative na hinihingi ng natin is someone who can propel us to the future. So, wala pang gumagamit ng narrative na yun, no? So, ayan, we're giving mm -hmm. out uh, free advice, right? No one is using that particular narrative. <laughs> if, but it seems to be, sorry Kuya Ed, tulungan mo ko, ano ba yung Tagalog ng zeitgeist, no? Yun yung, uh, yun yung parang prevailing uh, desire, uh -huh. unspoken desire ng mga tao. Obviously, gusto natin someone who can propel us to the future. Uh, because ayan, pinagpapapaniwala natin yung mga si Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, etc., etc. The Philippines is no exception. And yet, despite that, tinatanong ko kayo, how come all of the narratives of the uh, those who are about to run are all um, not forward-looking, but all looking to the past? So, for example, mm -hmm. siguro ang i-recommend ko lang kay uh, Mayor Isko, di ba? Sir, of all the candidates, ikaw yung parang pinaka-potentially malinis na slate, pwede kang gumawa ng sarili mong narrative, you could be that president who can potentially propel us to the future. Bakit hindi mo yon ginagamit? Right now, ang narrative mo, it's either for or against someone, right? Di ba nga, meron pong nagbanggit kay uh, Mayor, and I have such high regard for um, his work in Manila. Sabi nila, uh, bakit ang iyong posisyon ay laban kay Marcos? What do you, so in other words, the unspoken mm. there is, what do you really stand for, right? Uh -oh. So when what you stand for is always, and this is not just uh, kay Mayor, when, when most of what you stand for is against something, people tend to wonder what do you really stand for, right? So, right, right. Uh -oh. Kasi medyo, ano, di ba? Tira siya sa kaliwat kanan eh. Titira kay BBM, titira kay Duterte, titira din kay Lenny. Correct. Kuya so you're saying you're saying a more that of all the candidates is ko could have been that candidate na a promise for the future. Diba? Right? I mean if you think right. about it, right? Yun ang hinahanap nating lahat. Bata pa siya, diba? Tsaka siya pinakabata sa kanila lahat. Pinakabata, may itsura, may dating, diba? So mm -hmm. he can actually stand for something that we are all yearning for. Hindi lang maging laban kay Marcos or laban kay Lenny or laban kay Duterte, di ba? Kasi kung ang positioning mo ay laban ka, then people tend to wonder, what do you really stand for? What do you really believe right, in? Right, right. Ito na lang, Amor, what does Ping Lacson need to do? Libre ang advice ulit. <laughs> Alam mo, ito kasi yung, uh, ito yung challenge kay Senator Ping, di ba? The narrative of a tough man, okay? Uh, ito, the narrative of an administration in, is cancelled out by the, the next administration. No? Diba? So, halimbawa, uh, FBR and then after FBR, parang kina, yung sumunod na Pangulo cancelled out this narrative, right? So, it's always time for a change. So, galing tayo sa tough man, galing tayo kay Pangulo. So, I don't think a tough man narrative, right, will work. So, yung mananalo the next, uh, ako I would say, yung mananalo after kay PRRD will be either a diametric opposite of. And kaya nga sabi ko, ang galing nung ano eh, ang galing nung, uh, uh, 
whether deliberate or not deliberate ang positioning ni um ni Inday Sara no she could either go i will continue the progress or at the same time merong narrative na i am my own woman and i will not be uh you know i will not uh, uh, count out to anyone not even to my father no so um open open book siya may uh, kaya pa niyang mag-shape ng narrative so compared to what kuya ed said earlier kaya pa niya eh kung diametrically opposed eh si Lenny yon di ba <laughs> so uh see the thing is ako eto lang ang caveat ko ah um i remember that week when uh, uh when the vice president declared right yeah. wow my all of my feeds were pink mm-hmm. right all of my mm-hmm. feeds and then we revisited some historical data we did some analysis and i'll tell you guys yun nga mag-ingat po tayo dahil baka dahil baka echo chamber po yung naririnig natin mm-hmm. or what we choose to listen to no so um ako for me i think people are really yearning for for young fresh leadership and to an extent the vice president <clears throat> is being lumped with right is being lumped unfortunately it, you know elections are not very they're not too kind to um they're not too kind to those of a certain age there's really a yearning for a fresh type of leadership youth young right and um So for me ako I would uh, I would I would bet on those who can provide a fresh narrative. 